Oh wow, hi, it's me Trixie Mattel and welcome back to The Pit Stop. On today's episode, we have a guest who is from our Hollisley Spectacular and from season two, Sonique, woo! Hi. Hey girl. Hey. You look beautiful. You look beautiful. This helmet. I yeah. love it, you look so good. Thank you. The episode today, did you live? I did, there's so much juice in this episode. I can't wait to <laughs> squeeze it out with you. I know that we're fans, but this episode, I mean, I watched it like, I probably looked like I was on a roller coaster. Okay. I was just like. No, you were like pawing at the TV. I literally got up and walked closer to it and watched it like I was in Poltergeist. Mm -hmm. Like, it was amazing. Let's recap, last week, <gasps> yes. Trinity eliminated Jasmine Masters. I love me some Jasmine Masters. And it sucks, you can't be successful every day. Do you think that there was strategy there with Trinity's elimination? Well, Trinity, she really takes drag serious and she knows the ins and outs of it. So I know that her coming into this, she is looking at it solely based on like, you were not good and you were the worst tonight, so you totally. have to go home. So moving on to the maxi challenge, they have to write lyrics, work in a group, choreograph something, style themselves. This is a lot. Yeah. That's so, the name of the game. Absolutely. This is a lot. However, if you're a bad bitch drag queen, you do this every day. Absolutely. It's easy to put on a, a themed costume, but whenever it's in your hands to put it together, some people tend to fall a little short. Last week's winners, Trinity and Monique, they now have to pick teams. Trinity, Valentina, Gia, Latrice, Manila. That's Team Trinity. Monique, Monet, Naomi, and Farah. And that was Team Monique. How important is the team you pick and do you like team challenges? I would want people who I could outshine in a way so I look better, hold on. Or do I want a strong team who right. is gonna complement each other? I hate group challenges. If I'm gonna funk it up, right. let me funk it up myself. Don't let me drag totally. people down. So let's move on to rehearsals. Yes. During the choreography, Farah is having a hard time learning it and she's not quite a mover. If you know that's your weakest area and you know you want to get back on Drag Race, maybe take a dance class. Shangela took sewing classes. Yeah. Did not pay off, <laughs> but she took the classes. <laughs> So Team Trinity is having too many leaders, not enough followers right now. How would you have dealt with a situation with too many people yelling their ideas? If you were Trinity, would you have been like, silence? Yeah, I would have been like, all right, we need to figure this out. Totally. Talking stick, maybe, <laughs> you know. Not a talking stick. Yeah, sometimes that Or put that the ideas works. in a hat. Sure. A talking stick, I'm gonna leave. Okay, so we're back in the workroom mm -hmm. and Gia says she wants to squash the drama but it really looks more like she's approaching Farah in the middle of her fantasy and sort of rehashing. It sort of looks like she's digging it up. She was rattling Farah's cage because this is all stars. Some girls are out for blood and I think Gia has so much she wants to prove. Do you agree with Monique that Gia was sort of being a bully? At that moment, if that's what you're representing, then that's what you need to be called. Because she wasn't trying to resolve something, she was just trying to like, stir the pot, really. Yeah, I lived for it though. As much oh, yeah. as I hated it. We watched did it we twice. Did we not watch it twice? <laughs> oh, I was like, it. we need to rewind this right now. Yeah, it was good. It was good TV. So we're on to the performances. What do you think of the first group? First of all, I loved Valentina's look. I'm oh, a huge my. Selena fan. God. And I love when girls give like a nod to something that they're inspired from, from the past. Amazing. Anybody who is a Selena fan is going to love Valentina. She looks so good in that jumpsuit. And oh my God, Trinity Taylor's bodysuit, that metallic yes. rose gold kind of robot. I oh. like it. It looked really good. I love the hair. Those are the two standouts for me as far as like who the I best. thought was the best. Not so good. I would just have to say Manila. We know Manila can do better than that. The look was a little chopped. To see her do this on All Stars. Uh, it's like, girl. What are you doing? Yeah. You cannot go on the oh. main stage in the main maxi challenge and wear pigtails in one wig. No. So next up we had Team Monique. Who stood out to you the most? Monet. Monet on that little phone and that hair tied up, she, she turned it. She turned it and she's just so good delivering lines and like her uh -huh. expressions. She is definitely the standout from that team for me. Yeah, she was my standout too. Naomi turned it, that little hair with that little body. The little pink hair. Oh, come on. Oh, I love so it. Cute. She looked good. And her lyrics. Her lyrics I were fabulous. Them. And on the other end, my least favorite, poor Farah. It just was her. 
Yeah. In the first episode, she also had trouble with the talent show. And I think maybe she just got off to a bad start. She knows she's not a strong dancer. I mean, listen, even I know that dancing was whack. <laughs> <laughs> this whack girl. I feel like her look too wasn't on brand with her. I'm not used to seeing Pheromone in like a bodysuit thing like that. She got left in the dust. And then poor Monique, that look, I'm sorry, underwear with mm. faux fur coat just looks cheap usually anyway. The pants were ill-fitting. It was a little messy. I know that was like her kind of downfall in her season two. And she's fresh off of uh, season 10. It kind of makes me wonder, is Monique ready for All Stars 4? So overall, the first group mm -hmm. spanked the other group. Totally. Completely. It wasn't even the same contest. They knew what they could deliver, and I think they all played to their own strengths, and the other team was just kind of, you know, everyone yep. for themselves. Totally. Now onto the runway, Elegance After Dark. I'm not mad at this runway. I like some Elegance After Dark. You do? Dark. Expensive looks today. What was your favorite? Manila, by far, hands down. Manila Girl. made up for her performance. That was incredible. It was probably one of the best looks I've seen on RuPaul's Drag Race. It was stunning. That was it. My other favorite, I think Latrice in All Black was kind of great. I liked it too, but I felt like it didn't pop necessarily. I feel like if she had a red lip, maybe. Sure. I just feel like everything was just so dark, you know? Like You do kind of get lost a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Who fell short here? Monique Hart, just because it was a little all over the place for me, I feel like Ooh. we don't need a reveal like that. It needs to just already be done. And that's what you serve. Girl, Not that, I don't want to. I don't want to stunt. That white hair. I was like, you look like Falcor going to homecoming, bitch. Storm after the storm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Completely. <laughs> Up next, we had judging, and the judges decided that Valentina and Monet Exchange were the top two. Okay. Would you agree? I feel like if they wanted to pick one from each, yes. But overall, absolutely not. You are the best. You have like exactly the same opinions of me, which means I think you're a genius. Um, I think if it was two legitimately best ones, it probably could have been like Trinity. I think Trinity might have been a top two, except I think that red dress was a little basic compared it to everybody else. It was too cocktail-y. So that leaves Monique Hart and Farah as the bottom. Was that the right decision? I think yeah. it was. I think so. Poor Monique, man. To I go know. from winning to bottom. She must Such have been a contrast. Gagged. Back in the workroom. Miss Gia Gum comes back again to sort of further apologize. I think I'm she made like, it worse. wrong time girl. Yeah. Yes. Too late. Too late, wrong The time. damage is done. This woman is staring down a gun and you're like, hey, real quick, I might what feel about bad me about again? Yeah. Yeah. But I get it, it's television, we want the drama, the, the fans want the drama, they want to see all the, the craziness and the arguments and that's that's part of drag too. You Did know? you think the apology was sincere? It doesn't come across as being sincere. It might have been like a second thought, like I really screwed up, I probably shouldn't have did all of that. Yeah. Let me try to make amends before I start looking like a, a bully, you know? Yeah, the right thing is to talk about how you feel bad about something went down and resolve it. Not. Pour gas on it, yeah. and then basically say later, I know you're in the middle of the elimination, but I'm sorry, that's how you felt. So, it's time for the lip sync. What did you think of the two performances? I'm just so impressed with Valentina. Wiggling in fabric? Oh, just fabric. Baby. She had rhinestone chain mesh. And she is not known for being a lip syncer. Do you think she redeemed herself? And do you think that she was the right choice as a winner? I think that Valentina redeemed herself. And I definitely think she was the right choice for the winner. I do too. Only because, like, for me, Monet Exchange, she does the same lip sync every time. It's always a little swimsuit, bodysuit thing. I knew the dress was coming off. This isn't like an elimination you for sure them. You sure did. You were watching and you I was go, like, that's, that's coming, coming off. off. Yeah, it's I was RuPaul's like... reveal race, girl. <laughs> Granted, I won Drag Race doing a reveal, so whatever, but I think it was the right choice. Unfortunately, despite their friendship, Valentina had to eliminate Farah. I know, and they had just made amends. Girl, if she's your friend and you're both professionals, that wasn't it, sis, and you know it. And I'm at sorry. some point, you're gonna have to get rid of your friends, so you might as well get rid of it now, girl. so you can get the blood off your hands and go kill this shit. So. Well, in other news, Sonique's a murderer as we just found out. Oops. I was watching this episode going, this might be the best episode of Drag Race ever. I mean, it, we had to watch it twice because it was so good. And we got some resolution. We got Valentina putting this thing that's followed her to bed. Cannot wait to see what else she has to offer. Yeah, Valentina, we're very into you. 
So Nick, you're an icon. You're one of my all-time favorite Drag Race girls. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. Oh, it's such a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you. And anytime you want to uh, play in some makeup, let's do it. Okay. Thank you guys for joining us on the pit stop. Thank you, Sonique. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Oh, we're just waving to the audience. See ya. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you. <laughs>